going to be a fun year. It's going to be a, a team that you're going to be able to watch grow and develop as the season goes on and, and continue to get better. And right now we are in the growth stage. <laughs> We've got a lot to, a lot to work on. But practice has gone well. Uh, today we had practice number number five, and number six, uh, six and seven this weekend. Uh, we're off to the races. Ted, because of your first two years, your expectations on the outside are really high. With such a young, talented team, what are your expectations for this team? Well, let me say this. The expectations of this team uh, are far ahead of where the team is. Uh, they're, they're a little out of whack right now. And I, I don't get caught up into the outside expectations. We talked about that the last two years and we'll hopefully be talking about that for, for years to come. Uh, what I'm interested in, what I'm concerned with, especially this time of year, is that we're getting better every day. We continue to improve, we continue to work hard, and uh, I'm very encouraged with uh, the, early, uh, the early stages of our development, but we've got a long ways to go to, to be at the level of play that we were at the end of last year because we, we've lost four really good seniors and we've got six freshmen. It's a whole new team. And, uh, we've got we've to concentrate on getting better every day. I'm not going to worry about what the end result is. That will take care of itself. And again, that's part of the journey that's fun for, for coaches and for players and hopefully for you as well. Have you felt more of a sense of excitement from your fans during the offseason? Yeah, yeah, I, I do. And I think, again, I think that's carryover from last year and also from the excitement of the, obviously the new kids in our program and the recruiting class that we put together. So I think those team, two things put together have generated that excitement and, and those expectations. All I'm saying is that, that uh, this is a whole new ball game and it, this is, uh, the expectations right now are further ahead of where our team is. Well, consistency is number one. We're, we, we, we show flashes of uh, offensive brilliance. I think we're a very good transition team offensively right now. Transition defense, we're not. Uh, we're not a great half court executing team on offense right now. Uh, we're not a great half court defensive team. So you know, if you look at those four categories, we're one out of four, we're, we're pretty good. The other three, we've got a lot of work, a lot of room for improvement on. So, um, but again, I think the talent is there. Uh, the, the, the thing I like about this team is the length and athleticism that uh, we have uh, is, is, is better than it was last year. And, uh, you know, I, I don't worry, I've said this before, I don't worry about replacing the production uh, from Carlin and Nate and Austin uh, that we lost off of last year's team. What, I concern, what I'm concerned about is, the, is how we're going to replace their leadership. And I think that's another question that uh, will be interesting to see how, how it's answered as the season progresses. How much accelerated in the growth process are you because of your... We, no, we're accelerated. I mean, uh, make no mistake, it's the European trip helped us. Now. Okay. My expectation level as a coach is probably a little further ahead of, I got I to temper my expectations as a coach because of the European trip. I think we should be further along than we are. And, and the reality is we had 10 practices in five games and we threw a lot of stuff at our guys. And they absorbed it pretty well, but we weren't able to really develop habits and that's what we have to go back to and that's what we're doing now is trying to develop the habits that are going to help make us successful this year and uh, so the european trip helped us get a lot of things in we've got more things in right now than we ever have uh, in, in the past two years at the same stage that's the good news the bad news is we're not good at any of them <laughs> we got a bit but we're not and so now it's fine-tuning and developing the habits and getting better, and, and that's the execution I'm talking about. Do you see a real chemistry developing among these freshmen? Yeah, absolutely. I think, BG, if there's one thing I think that uh, the European trip did for us more than anything was give us a sense of togetherness, uh, bonding, of getting to know each other off the court, 
of our personalities uh, coming out and, and our guys really uh, bonding together. So, uh, and the freshman class, anytime you have six, six freshmen together, they're in the dorms together, they're eating together, they're going to class together, they're going to study hall together. I mean, they've really bonded well. And, uh, and I think our, our uh, I'm really pleased with our, our returning players and how they've accepted them and, and dealt with them on the European trip and, and certainly in, in, in the few practices that we've had as well. Has the, has the skill level of the freshmen been as advertised? Yeah, skill level's there, the talent is there, the competitiveness I really like. Uh, the other day we had a scrimmage of vets against the, the young guys and it was I think 13 to 2 out of the gates and the vets mm -hmm. were putting it on them. Not because they executed well, not because they, uh, uh, you know, fought the game better, uh, but they just came, they came back and they made it a game. They made it a, a competitive scrimmage because of their competitiveness, because of their talent, because of their skill level. And when they add that to the thought process and the execution that needs to come with it, they won't be down 13 to. You know? So yeah, the, the, the talent is is as good as advertised.